The G23 Stun Grenade is one of three special purpose utility grenades in Helldivers 2, and along with the G3 Smoke Grenade, one of only two grenades in the game so far which causes no damage. The G23 came into the game with the recent Cutting Edge Warbond, situated on page 2, costing 25 metal sun lock. As soon as this Warbond was announced over a week ago, and the stun grenade was shown in the trailer, you may recall me saying immediately that this was the singular item I was most excited about, and that it had the potential to be absolutely S-tier. So was I right? <laughs> oh boy, and how? Let's check it out. The G23 Stun Grenade temporarily stuns all targets within the effective radius. It has a damage of 0, loop, penetration of 6, outer radius of 10, and fuse time of 1.8 seconds. All of these things together mean that you very rarely need to cook this grenade before throwing it, that it affects most heavy units, and that its AoE isn't particularly large. Sadly, nor is it persistent like EMS. It's simply a one-shot burst effect. Alright, let's try this grenade. Zone me, baby. Okay, so the AoE is pretty small. Oh, and it's not persistent. Okay. So, what makes this grenade so darn special? Well, it trivializes dealing with most heavy units. How? Well, let's take a look at my very first time trying it on a charger. Okay, well then. I stunned it, guys! I stunned the charger! Oh, get wrecked, son! Get- yeah, but the railgun was OP. Not bad, right? Let's take a look at another. And finally, you can even use it to demonstrate that the 500 kilo bomb strike is completely broken. Have a case of democracy. Okay, great. So the stun grenade and flamethrower trivialized charges more than the unnerfed railgun ever did, but it only gets better from here. Are you wondering what it does to Bile Titans yet? I sure was. Here's how that went. So, it makes dealing with the heaviest terminated units an absolute joke. But how about the automatons? Well, here's me using it on a Hulk for the first time. Guys, stop kiting him! The railgun's OP and needs to be nerfed. Fun, right? At this point, you're naturally wondering, does it work on tanks? To which I sadly have to report that no, it does not. Along with not working against tanks, its other major caveat is that it cannot destroy bug holes or fabricators. This makes the stun grenade a risk-reward play. You want to make sure that you load out in such a way that you can still destroy outposts, whether it be via packing a grenade launcher, airstrikes, or whatever your preferred method de jour is. The G23 can also be used to zone groups of enemy units, and thoroughly nail them with airstrikes. This is extremely useful if you have the complex stratagem deployment effect in action and would otherwise struggle to hit groups of enemy units that are moving around all over the place. It's extremely useful when paired specifically with the 500 kilo bomb since it has such a small AoE. And that's it. That's more or less the G23 stun grenade. I'm currently working on a review of the post-nerf railgun to see whether it still has any utility in the game's new meta, so make sure you're subscribed to catch it. Since the channel is rocketing in popularity, less than 3% of you guys are currently subbed, so most of you aren't getting notified of the videos when we release them. Also, let me know what requests you have for future reviews, and I'll see you next time.